एट वॉट एज चाइल्ड इज एनकरेज टू चांट एक्चुअली इट डिपेंड्स ऑन टाइम प्लेस एंड सरकमटंस सरकमस्टंस बट वी कैन डिस्कस हियर वॉट शुड बी एटीट्यूड टू आस्क अ चाइल्ड फॉर चैंडिंग वी आर फॉलोइंग इस्कॉन फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट बिकॉज वी टूक इट वॉलेंटरीली वी टूक इट लॉजिकली वी लर्न इट वी रेड अबाउट इट वी एक्सपीरियंस इट एंड देन वी टूक इट इफ चाइल्ड वी गिव द चाइल्ड ऑल्सो सच अ एन्वायरमेंट एंड ऑल्सो नॉलेज सो दैट द चाइल्ड कैन ऑल्सो थिंक ऑन दिस ग्राउंड्स अबाउट द स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ अबाउट the kali yuga and how the hari naam is helpful in progressing in spiritual life in kali yuga and give them time actually parenting spirit spiritually as well as physically and materially the children is a job of patience but there are some sanskaras like upanishad sanskar like vidyarambha sanskar where there is some small function small ceremony small mantras a yagya that can mark a beginning of child starting one round or child starting four rounds like that in iskon yatras it is expected that child after 15 years of age should chant 16 rounds to be entitled to enter uh, to go to yatra so the expectation from the temple side is after 15 years that is after 10th the child should start chanting around 16th round so that he can be entitled for yatras but the mother and father must carefully take this decision actually create such an environment so that child himself will feel that now it is the right time for me to chant also the parents has to create a environment so that he will have time he will have mental stability a peace of mind to chant also if we keep our children very busy in sports activities and academic activities and extracurricular activities and again hoping that they should chant also i think it is very tough for a child to chant in this scenario हरे कृष्ण